That took a bold stand against the unsporting treachery of Australia's cricketers at Lords earlier this month in the Ashes. And in turn, the Australian media took a bold stand against me. The Australian Telegraph newspaper addressed me, Ben Stokes, Sir Geoffrey Boycott and Rishi Sunak as giant babies with the headline, A Wobbly Lower Lip, Suki Poms Keep Spitting the Dummy. It wasn't just the papers. Carl Stefanovic, a TV presenter who is flatteringly for him, known as the Australian Piers Morgan, said this on The Big Breakfast Show over there. Pierce has said that he will come on our show oh, yeah. um, when England win the series 3-2. He's Seriously. such a lightweight. He's a lightweight. Oh, he's pathetic. Tough enough, mate. Absolutely dreamy. Uh -huh. Expected more out of him. Oh, I can't oh. believe it. What a loser. Give what a loser. Hmm. He didn't stop there. He asked Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese to ban me from the country. Is it time to revoke the visas of English elites like Piers Morgan. That would be a very harsh measure, uh, Carl. What it, what it might be better to do is to allow people like Piers Morgan <laughs> to come in and to come on your show and remind him of Australia's massive Ashes victory. Yeah, you've won nothing yet, Prime Minister. We're going to win the Ashes. And ahead of the do-or-die fourth test match at Old Trafford that starts tomorrow, I decided it was time for me to confront Mr Stefanovic one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I'm joined now by Carl Stefanovic. So, Carl, you've been giving it the big one uh, for the last few weeks, but you've gone very, very quiet since we rolled you over in the last Test match. Is that nerves? Basically, uh, Pierce, you know how it is uh, down under. We don't really worry about things until the, the very last minute. But we've been gathering the troops at the fray. Uh, we've been getting our, our little toys out of our kids' cot so that <laughs> we can send them over to you. This is a, one of the native bilbies that you'll be... <laughs> you'll be sent in the next couple of days in the lead-up to the test that you can throw them out of your cot with your dummies when Australia starts to pound you on day one. We are very fired up about this, but in a very quiet way. Obviously, we wake up like this, Pierce. Preparation, mm. handsome, delicious Australians. <laughs> I know that upsets you greatly. I know that makes you cranky. But this is how we wake up in preparation for a big test. Quiet and handsome. Actually, you look as, as haggard, drawn and old as I used to when I did breakfast television. <laughs> and thank God I'm now in prime, in prime time, words you can only dream about, which is why I look, by comparison, so youthful and dynamic. <laughs> youthful and dynamic. Actually, I will say this. You have, you have looked better after that, that last victory. I know how concerned you were about <laughs> it. And that's why we gifted you one test match. I mean, can you imagine what would have happened in your country if Australia had won that one? You would have been crying in the streets. GDP would have gone down. You would have had to replace your Prime Minister, the toothpick with eyes, as we call him over here in Australia, with another Prime Minister. There would have been absolute mayhem. So we've gifted you to this one. We're giving you an opportunity to get back into the series because deep down, even though you sent the worst of us to Australia decades, hundreds of years ago, we're back here for you and we still kind of like you, you know in a what, strange Carl? way. You know what, Carl? When we sent all the convicts to Australia, I never dreamed for a moment that they would, the people there would be still as undesirable as they were when we sent them. But there you are. <laughs> undesirable. Look at this. Who's the person you want to have lunch with whenever you come to Australia <laughs> and you want me to pay? Come on, Piers. Let me ask you this. It's, look, it's good. Let's get serious <laughs> for one moment. Obviously, you all right. will, obviously your Australian team cheated with Sandpaper Gate. You cheated again when Trevor Chappell bowled underarm. You cheated again with the Bairstow uh, fiasco. Yeah, yeah. Can you give any undertakings at all on behalf of your country that in the last two test matches you may at least try and abide by the laws and spirit of the game? Look, um, I think this is why we've, we've come to know you as the king of the whingers here in Australia, and, and some of us do love you. But effectively, what we've done is, having been the worst of us sent out from... The worst and the best of us sent out from um, your beautiful country uh, many, many decades, hundreds of years ago, um, we've basically used... You get upset because we use your rules to beat you. Um, that's, that's as effective as, as I can be this morning in my message to you. So we will use any rules and twist them back on the old dart because that's called progress. Mm. You guys are stuck in the 60s and the 50s and we're progressing as a nation let forward me tell you, at a let fast me tell you, pace. Just to wrap yeah. this, we're going to win the next test at Old Trafford. We're going to go to the Oval. We're going to basball you to within one inch of your lives and then I'm going to come mm. on your show and I'm going to do the yeah. greatest gloating 
segment in the history <laughs> of breakfast television and you're going to be physically vomiting live on air as I show you the ashes and kiss them after the greatest comeback since Lazarus. And on that bombshell, Carl Stefanovic, as you call yourself over there, Stefanovic to your friends in Europe, I will bid you farewell until we win. All right, I'll see you soon. And if you, if you win this next test match, I'll come to London and we'll do it in person. And you can buy me a massive lunch. I look forward to it. Take right. care, Carl. Done. All right, love you, mate. Bye. So think about Australians. I do, I love them. I love the country. I love the culture. But when it comes to cricket, they are utterly unbearable. And yes, I do know this show airs on Sky News Australia. <laughs> So, good evening. Good evening, Cobbers. Um, but I think we're going to win. And when we do, I'm going to see Mr Stefanovic. That's it for tonight. Come on, England. Bring back that urn. You can do it, Captain Stokes. Good night. Keep it uncensored. <laughs>